It's Friday. It's Friday, March 29th. I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas. And we just finished up the 11th week of the 83rd Texas Legislature's regular session. Clearly, things are getting a little busy around here. Uh, the Texas Legislature meets on odd-numbered years for 140 days. So we are 81 days down. Oh! And 59 to go. The House has started seriously debating bills on the floor this week, and committees in both chambers are meeting almost around the clock. Literally, the House Public Health Committee didn't get out till after 2 a.m. yesterday. A pair of Equality Texas endorsed bills was heard in both the House and Senate this week. Senate Bill 831 by Larry Taylor of Friendswood and House Bill 3327 by Garnett Coleman of Houston would build on legislation that Coleman passed last session that provides resources for schools and government entities to try to prevent youth suicide. HB 3327 and SB 831 expand on the program to include substance abuse prevention and to make resources more readily available. Substance abuse disproportionately affects queer youth. Uh, according to a study by the University of Pittsburgh, the odds of lesbian, gay, bisexual youth developing in a problem with substance abuse are 190% higher than for heterosexual youth. And it's even higher within some of the subgroups. Uh, 340% higher chance than for bisexual youth, 400% higher chance for lesbian youth. Taylor and Coleman's legislation would go a long way toward addressing this issue. Now, next week is going to be even busier. On Wednesday, the Senate Economic Development Committee will hear testimony on Senate Bill 237. SB 237 would prohibit discrimination in employment based on sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Now, contrary to popular belief, an employer cannot fire anyone for any reason in Texas. It is illegal currently to discriminate in employment based on a person's race, religion, gender, national origin, age, or ability. Now, these are all universal attributes, meaning everybody has them, that have historically been the basis for widespread and systemic discrimination in our culture. Similarly, sexual orientation and gender identity or expression are universal attributes that have historically been the basis for widespread and systemic discrimination in our culture. And so they belong on that list. 26% of transgender Texans report losing a job because of their gender identity or expression. In Texas, men in same-sex relationships make 9% less than their heterosexual peers. Households headed by two women make 11% less than households headed by straight married people. The state of Texas estimates that it would need to investigate 474 cases if employment discrimination against LGBT people were, were prohibited. And that's 474 a year. This is an important issue, and Wednesday's hearing will be the first time it's ever even been discussed in the Texas Senate. On Thursday, the House will consider the massive 873-page appropriations bill. Uh, this is the budget for the state of Texas for the next two years. It's also an opportunity for those opposed to equality to try to sneak discrimination into the law. 267 amendments to the appropriations bill have been pre-filed. We're going through them right now and to look to see if anything's problematic. Last session, someone tried to ban LGBT resource centers from college campuses. Uh, we'll let you know if there are any problems. But with the bad comes the good, and several of the pre-filed amendments would do great things for the LGBT community. There's too many to talk about here, but for instance, Representative Garnett Coleman has filed an amendment that would collect data on instances of bullying and harassment based on anti-LGBT bias in public schools. Uh, with less than two months to go, things are only going to get busier. So be sure to follow all the action on our Facebook page, Twitter, and Google Plus accounts. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next week, I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas.